Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Comitube channel and today we are going to learn about bounded type parameter. So in the generics in Java video series, I have already explained you about the generic method, generic classes, generic constructor etc. So whatever example we have seen for generic methods or uh, in constructors, I was simply returning or printing the value whatever we are passing. So let's see some examples and then I will explain why we require something called bounded type parameters. So let me create a generic method. It's very simple method like public and then void maybe get some and I'm not defining the type but I am writing t number one t number two. And since I'm using type parameter so I need to declare the type parameter here right so suppose what I want to do I want to get the sum so let me store something like uh, maybe t uh, sum equal to number 1 plus number 2 why it is giving error I am just trying to add two numbers right Two numbers right but it is giving me error why because when i am using something called generic we are not suing or we are not uh, writing any specific things here how this method will know if we can call or we can add these two things or not it's like generic for them you never know what we are passing from here we might pass integer we might pass double we might pass something different class something like list set anything we can pass because t can accommodate anything here right so we cannot use any method we cannot because we don't know what type uh, what type of t you are going to pass right if you like it is string then only i can use append or we can use concatenation or we can use some different methods but see here t is undefined at this stage so we don't know what kind of operation we can perform okay so it is meaningless right t uh, using the type parameter it give you flexibility to use it for multiple types but what type you know, we need to provide the those details are not there and it restricts us to use for other methods like if it is string so we cannot use any string related method okay so for that only we require something called bounded type parameter so what I am going to say you that okay you cannot pass anything like t but you can pass anything which extends the number okay so let me show you double shape let me go for number number dot java if you see we have a class abstract class called number right and if you see here or let me go to google and let me show you here number java talk see the java talk for number class you can see there's so many subclasses to it like uh, double then float integer long short right means all these classes are extending number class so what i am saying is that you can pass anything but that should extend number we are giving some limitation earlier it was like t t can be anything but now t cannot be anything but t can be any class okay or any type which extends number okay so instead of just mentioning the t what i'll do i will use t extends number okay means here what I am saying that you can pass any type which extends number means we can use this all classes okay remember this don't confuse with the uh, inheritance if you want to use any bounded type parameters you need to use extends and then you need to give us a type name one more thing you need to understand here that if you are putting like any t which which implements any interface okay because we know the class extends on the class but class implements interface so in that case also you need to use extends keywords only if this type is an interface that doesn't mean that you need to use implements here 
okay you need to use always extends in case of any type class or interface anything okay now we are we are just mentioning this part now if i go and do uh maybe we can have like uh, a string or we can have like if number one get class dot get name equals ignore case if it is integer okay if integer okay then what i'm going to do what i'm going to do i will use uh, int sum equal to uh, number one dot get int value plus number two int value okay and i will simply print it okay same thing you can go for doubles and anything but if nothing then i will simply print type is not integer okay so now let me call this method what i will do i will for simplicity i will create i will mark this method is static so that i can call this method directly in my main method so what i'm going to do bounded type parameter dot get sum and here i will pass like uh, 10 comma 20 so before i run this method i want to change i want to change something here if you see i am using i am using this get class dot get name so this will all be return you like with the package it will return something called java dot lang dot integer so if i using this equal ignore case so this will fail so I uh, means I can put like Java dot lang or I, instead of uh, matching the exactly I I will use contains. Okay. So let me run this program now and we'll see the expected output. Okay, we can see thirty. Let me show you just what is the output of this this expression here. Okay, you can see it's giving java dot lang dot integer. That's why in instead of equals ignore case, I just use the contains. So you can see how we are making it generic, but we are restricting, we are giving some foundation. Okay, what kind of type you can provide? What will happen if I pass a string? Let me pass 10 and 20 as a string. You can see here error. If you mouse over, you can see uh, required type t provided a string so this you may not understand properly but here in this get some method you can pass any type of t which should extend number but this string is not extending number class that's why it is giving the error okay if i use 10.5 that is double okay like 10.5 20.5 then also it will give me the proper output okay this will give me type is not integer because it is uh, double right correct so like this we are using the bounded type parameter this is really useful in real time whenever you are writing the proper code where you have like uh, highlight your classes interfaces so you can restrict what type of method you what type of type you can pass okay instead of passing the t blindly so this is called bounded type parameters one more example you need to understand here that you, we can pass multiple bounds multiple bounds means suppose if i have a class called public class suppose a sorry no public because we can have only single one public class in a file right so i'm putting class a okay and let me create some interfaces as well interface b and and i will have a new class class 
d which will extend extends a implements b comma c we know what i am going to mention here that uh, let me create a new method like public class sorry not public class public uh, static like uh, any multiple okay t t1 i'm just giving the random name because i don't want to run i just want to show that how the multiple bond will work okay let me put white this is normal generic method but here what i want to do i want to put a restriction that t t should extend a multiple bond right so you need to use and operator then b and c okay it is saying that anything right any type will be accepted here if it is extending a b and c okay it it is uh, applicable for interface also okay so it is saying that extending implementing a b or c you can say in this way so let me call this method here what i will do uh, multiple if i pass new d okay so you can see it's not showing any error right because class d is extending a and implementing b and c which is satisfying this criteria what i'm going to do if i just remove the c from here means class d now only extending one class and uh, implementing one interface so it is giving error now because the bounded parameter this uh, this type is not satisfying this condition this is giving you this error okay so let me just control c control z and you can see it is uh, perfect now suppose here a is the class right you can see here a is the class and b and c are interfaces if you give the wrong order like first you give the b then you give a then what will happen okay you can see it is giving the error why because because if you are using the multiple bond parameters it is expecting that you need to provide the class name first okay not anything uh, not interface first you need to pass the class name followed by interface names okay so that's all in this bounded type parameter i hope you understand the concept and why we require bounded type parameters so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others